So if you can, uh, oh, how was your rookie year? How was your rookie year, first year in the NFL? How was that experience? Rookie year was just, hey, I'm going to do what coach wants me to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go out here. If I'm on the field, I'm going to make a play. Uh, full effort, 24-7. Don't care about nothing. You know, I'm, I'm living a dream right now. So I'm going to go out here and play football the way I know how to play football. Right. Y'all get new jerseys every game? Uh, only if uh, you, like, trade your jersey. Or, oh, like, after, yeah, like, after, after the game? After the game, you know, if I give my jersey to somebody else. You know? so, they, so they, like, wash them like we do in high school? Yeah, they wash them, and they have multiple ones. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, at the end of the season this year, I saw, like, five of my jerseys all in our burgundy, so. Oh, okay. Interesting. I got one. It's not your interview. Oh, oh, you got a jersey. Oh, okay. Where my jersey at? Come with time, chill. You ain't asked, man. Oh, Conway asked for this last year. I'm just year. saying. Okay, okay. Uh, so if you could give a tip to other rookies, what would it be? If I give a tip to other rookies, you know, I've talked to rookies. I mean, I'm obviously not just that best set of a player. And I'm just like, oh, so knowledgeable. But from what I learned my rookie year, it's going to be ups and downs. You're not going to understand everything about the business aspect of it. Uh, just control what you can control, and that's what sleep, eating, what you put in your body, that's a big factor because that comes with staying healthy. And staying healthy is the most important thing, especially as a young guy. They're going to work you because you're that young guy. Vets can take a day off, and, I mean, nothing's going to happen to them. They're a vet. They earn that. Right. You got to go out there every day. You got to go hard. And it's a long season because you're going to play all four preseason games. And then you're going to play those 17 weeks. So, I mean, your body's not used to that. You can't train for that. You can't train for the physicality of going out there every Sunday and smacking somebody, getting hit, and, you know, just full speed every time. Like, your body breaks down. And, I mean, it gets tough, but. That's why you gotta make sure you're you're eating right. You're still getting that proper workout. You know, core strength. I say core strength is a big factor. Right. I mean, cause Coach Green taught us that. Yeah. <laughs> P ninety eight. That that'll be that'll be something that I uh, say to really, yoga. I'm gonna really start hitting yoga hard. Yeah. You know, yoga really works. Yeah. I mean, I struggle I struggle with hamstring injuries a lot right now. So. Yeah. I mean, but I run so much and so hard all the time, and I'm like constantly fighting with somebody. Right. So it's like that resistance of it's not just freely running. It's yeah. like I'm resisting against somebody trying to run how you don't run. Like if you're running full speed, you're 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 running. So yeah, yeah. I'm running and like pushing people off and like running into people, getting off of it, getting my jersey pulled. And it's like so you got to be like flexible for that. Your right. muscles got to you know what I'm saying. So you'll be able to recover faster. Wow. Okay. All right. What is the most difficult or most challenging part about being in a National Football League employee? Uh, you mentioned the grind of the season. Yeah, that, be that's it. a big part. I mean, people look at us and like, oh, they make so much money. But, I mean, there's so much we got to pay for on, on the side of things. Uh, I mean, you got agent fees. I mean, you got the you got to buy things to keep yourself healthy. You know, I invest in uh, $2,000 leg equipment just to, you know, put on my legs at night. And, like, I mean, people don't, like, sit up saying, you know, you got to pay for massages. I mean, that, that really helps during the season. Uh, eating proper. I mean, we'll eat two meals at the facility. I mean, you got to eat at home. Otherwise, not. I mean, you still got to eat. Uh, we're only there six months out of the year, pretty much. So, I mean, the whole off season, you, know, you got to pay for training. I mean, if you're not training where you physically play, which a lot of players don't, I mean, you got to pay to have someone to live, somewhere to live out there. I mean, you got bills, you got expenses, car insurance, phones. I mean, yeah. So it's not like we just... Money management is important. Yeah, money management is important. That's okay. basically what I'm saying. And, uh, I mean, just being a public figure. You know what I'm saying? You got to be smart with uh, how you go about carrying yourself. Right. And, um, you know, you, I mean, just all the things that you never thought would come at you, comes at you. So you got to know how to handle it. You got people that try to take advantage of you. Know, like, 
people want to know your business and you know <laughs> like just your privacy is not really that private anymore so how you live is 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 viewed differently so i mean you can't do things that some of your old friends used to do do you guys watch sports debate shows like First Take? Because Stephen A. Smith has some choice words for the Redskins at a tough part of the season. I mean, I I don't really watch sports shows. Like like I said, I'm not just watching everybody else. Like When it's time to watch game film, I watch game film, and I see what that player does. But there's no reason for me to watch TV because, I mean, the media, they're going to take you where they want to take you or they're going to put you where they want to put you. You're either great to them or you're not good enough. And you could be great one week and then not good enough to them. So, I mean, there's no point in watching that because you're either going to see yourself on there and it's going to be negative talk or positive talk. And, I mean, you don't need that. You know what, you know who you are as a person. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, he, he, that's his job. Yeah. I mean, he, he makes money talking about teams, players, things like that. So... I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, you take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, before games, how do you get yourself hyped up? Do you have a favorite song or a go to artist? Or your playlist, maybe? Uh, I listen to different things here and there. It depends on my mood. Uh, I don't really try to be too hyped before the game because I like to focus and think about all my assignments because. I mean, obviously, you got to remember all the defensive plays. Uh, you want to remember uh, formation checks. I mean, I got to remember I'm, like, the lead special team guy, so I got to remember every special team assignment. And, I mean, you got different plays on special team, believe it or not. And, uh, and then I try to remember most of the guys around me assignment also. So, wow. I mean, <laughs> you cool. practice it through the week, but you'll see a lot of coverage blown during the season. And things like that because guys, I mean, it's a lot on your plate. I mean, yes, it's repetition, but if you're not tapped in, if you're not focused, if you don't remember, know your assignment before each play, then, you know, you can blow it. So uh, I just try to make sure, yeah, I go out there excited, ready to play, but it's our job. Like, right. Even if I'm not excited, ready to play, I should still go out there and perform well. Right. Because that's. I mean, I'm a professional at my job, right? You you can't give a doctor a day off just, oh, yeah, I don't feel good today. Then he go in and do bad surgery. Right. So, I kill somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, that's how I look at it. Like, if I'm going to be a professional, I got to be a professional every day. Okay. Okay. I like to hear that, young man.